here with another DIY embellishment video. Today we're going to make some DIY cork embellishments. Um, so I picked up this um, really thin cork sheet. It's a 12 by 12 cork sheet. Like look at how tiny and thin it is. It's, it's not thick, which is nice because then you can use these DIY cork embellishments for your project life, your planner, your scrapbooks, your cards, and it won't add too much dimension. So um, I got this at my local scrapbooking store, but I know that it comes from Kaiser Crafts, and it's a 12 by 12 cork sheet, and it comes with two of them. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to make some cork embellishments. So some of the things I might be using are I'm probably going to use some punches. I'm probably going to use some stamps some pens. Um, I'm going to definitely use some scissors. I might use some roller date stamps too if that works well. And I'm probably going to use some stays on ink for the stamping. And so I'm going to show you what I'm going to make and then I'm going to give you a whole bunch of different ideas. So it, even if you don't have punches, there's probably going to be something else in here. If you don't have stamps, then you'll learn something. So um, I hope you enjoy this DIY embellishment video. So I'm just going to pull out this first sheet. You can see I already punched it. And actually, because it's so thin, it punches really great. So I thought it would be fun to first punch out some shapes using the punches I have. I love finding new ways to use my punches because I feel like they just like stick in my stash forever. And look at it. It's so easy. It comes out like butter. Oh, it's so easy. So I'm just going to punch out a couple butterflies because I really like butterflies and I'm sure I'll be able to use those. I'm not doing the little ones because I don't really want butterflies that are that small. So I'm just going to push this aside. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch of my other punches. Um, like I have a scallop punch and an octagon, a couple circle punches. Um, and they work really well. I'm just trying to line them up closely so that I don't waste any of the cork, but it wasn't that expensive at my local scrapbooking store, and I know they had more, so I could go get it. I'm going to try to look and see if I can find it on Amazon for you guys, and if I can, I'll link it up. So there I've punched out some. I also thought it might be fun to try out... Um, a border punch. So this one comes from Martha Stewart and I love this border punch. I think it looks like little lacy doily. And punching through the cork with the border punch works so well. It just goes through it again just like butter. So if you have border punches you should definitely try them out on the cork. Um, and it works really well. It was super easy to cut through. I was left with all this um, debris to throw out but I didn't mind it was pretty easy to cut through it and everything. So, so that border punch worked perfectly so if you have border punches definitely give it a try. I think it'd be so cute to put like a whole bordered piece all along the top of a scrapbook page or even on a card I could feel like that would look so pretty. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. And look it even cuts through with my Fisker's trimmer perfectly. Goes through really easily. It didn't cut all the way through but um, all I have to do is just pull it off and it comes off super easy. Look at that. So pretty. Just pull off these extra little pieces. That looks so pretty on a scrapbook page. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now if you're finding all these pieces that you punched difficult to work with, you could just grab your scissors and trim off um, those pieces. So we've tried our punches, we've tried our trimmer, and both of those work perfectly. Next I want to try some stamping. So I have this stamp from Studio Calico, it's a feather. I'm just going to mount it on an acrylic block and I'm going to use some black stays on ink and ink it up really well and then stamp it down. It doesn't stamp perfectly, but I actually don't mind. I just think it adds to the impact. And um, I found that the best way to stamp is to put a lot of pressure and then sort of like rock and roll the stamp like um, around, like push it down and put pressure in different places. 
Then I clean off my stamp with some stays on ink cleaner because that stuff stains really badly. And then I'm just going to fussy cut it out. So I just trim it. And this image is super easy to fussy cut because it's pretty straight. And look at that. I've got a perfectly stamped cork feather. And I love it. It's super thin. I could totally use this in my scrapbook pages or I think I'd use this in my project life, but you could use it on anything. And if you had a couple of them, you could put them on a card. Oh, that would look so pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep working, do some more stamped images on the cork and fussy cut them out. And I'm going to shut the video off for a few minutes and come back and show you what I've made. So see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so I've stamped and fussy cut a bunch of images. So I just want to show them to you. So I cut out some cameras, a coffee cup, some flowers, a couple geometric butterflies. I also did a couple of these like hello circles. And actually those hello circles, I think they were the perfect size for this. So I actually just punched them out instead of fussy cutting them, which worked really well. Did a pineapple and some orange slices or lemon slices and then those leaves. So that those were super fun. I um, used all Studio Calico stamps for these. And I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. I think they're super cute. And like I can't wait to put these on a project. So, so now I've showed you how to punch images. I've showed you how to stamp images. Um, I've also showed you how to use a trim to create a trim. Now I want to show you some fun ways that you can just add some details to some of these. Um, so I'm going to use this black Paper Mate flare pen. It's sort of like a felt tip pen. And what you can do is you can add um, details to some of the things that you've punched out. So for example, it works really well. I think it's the felt tip works really well on the cork. It doesn't pierce it or anything. And it just lays the ink on top. So for example, you could add a stitch line around something that you've punched out. That looks super cute. And I feel like it just takes it to the next level. And then you could write a phrase on there like, love. If you were really good at scripty fonts, you could do it in script. I'm not really good at that, so that's why I'm not showing you that. But if you were good at it, you could definitely do that, and I think it would be so cute. Look at that. That's so cute. Then I could add a little heart down here. There I have my very own little details. could do a little XO. So, that's cute. So fun little ideas, to, just to do something a little different. You could do polka dots all around the edges or across the whole entire thing. If you had some of those background stamps like that have huge background designs on them, you could use that to stamp the cork and then you could punch it out and that would give you something fun to do as well. Um, you can even add details to the images you've already stamped. So for example on this pineapple, let's say I missed a line or it didn't stamp very well, I could use this pen to just darken it a little bit. And I like that. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that I used um, some other colors of stays on ink too. Um, you'll probably notice that there's some red and purple and yellow images and even a green coffee cup. And that's because I just wanted to try out some of my other stays on inks. I did try to use um, Studio Calico's Color Theory inks, but here you can see the difference. This is the purple stays on. And this is the purple color theory ink. So the stays on is definitely more crisp and it worked better on the stamp. So I think a pigment ink is probably what you want to go with. It'll probably work the best. So just to give you some ideas of what you could do, I think um, 
it's super fun because there's all these different things that you could do, different designs you could do. Like on one of these butterflies, you could add a little body. And maybe add like some polka dots or something. Just some fun details to just give it a little something something. I don't actually know what that means, but I say that all the time, so. <laughs> well, I know what it means, but I mean, I don't know exactly what's the something something that I'm adding. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I really like that. Or like on your scallops, you could make it sort of into a doily by adding like parts that would look almost cut out by drawing them in. You could also cut them out if you wanted to. For example, you could grab your, um, like, let's say you've got this circle here. You could grab your, uh, what's it called? What's that called? Craft knife. That's the phrase. And you could cut things in half. Like, let's say I just wanted half circles. Well, you could definitely use scissors, but there you go. Perfect little halves using my craft knife. So that's a whole bunch of fun little different ideas um, for some cork embellishments. Okay, so if you've been watching my um, channel for a while, you know that I adore buttons. Like, I love them. I if I'm starting to run low, I like start to freak out because I feel like anxious that I'm running out of buttons. It's maybe a silly thing to do, but I definitely feel anxious. So I thought it would be fun to create some cork buttons. So I've just punched out some circles using this um, Martha Stewart. I think it's a uh, maybe half inch. Then I'm gonna use my um, pokey tool and just a little soft mat and I'm just gonna actually punch some holes through the cork now it doesn't want to go all the way so what I'm gonna do is just get it started and then pick it up and punch it through like that so that the hole will be bigger so it looks more like a button Now, in cork, obviously it looks a little different than an actual button would look, but I think if you sewed this on your layout or onto your project, you'd have those holes and it would be really cute. If you didn't want to use your pokey tool, you could use like your hole punch. However, your hole punch is going to definitely create bigger circles, but if you don't mind that, like look at this. I actually think that's really cute to create like bigger holes. So now you've got some cork buttons and I think I'll do some sewing through that and it will look super cute. Dun, dun. You can also get hole punches that are smaller, like have a smaller punch part, which um, I think would work really well for cork buttons as well. So that's one idea. Now if you have an octagon punch like I do, you can actually create um, chevrons. So start by punching out a chevron, um, octagon, and then stick the octagon into your punch, like where one of the points is. You want it to be sh relatively straight, and then punch, and then move it in a little more, punch, move it in a little more, punch. Look at that got cute little chevrons. actually really like those. Even a diamond. So you can definitely use your punches for more than one thing. Like I think sometimes we go, oh I've got an octagon punch but I can't do anything else with it. But you totally can. You can make chevrons. And then if you don't want your chevron to be so big, you can just grab your scissors and since you already have the shape, you can just trim trim and there you've got a cute little chevron. Okay, so that's another idea for what you could do with your little cork embellishments. If you had white stays on ink, that would look so pretty on cork. I don't actually have white stays on, 
but if you had it, it would work really well. What I do have though, is I have some gel pens, like this pink one, which comes from Poppin Gel. I, it was a gift from somebody, so I don't actually know where you get it. But you can draw on the cork with the gel pens, and they actually show up really well. So if you had like a white pen, I think that would show up really well on the cork too. So look at this. I'm just adding some stripes, something quick. Look at that, super cute. Just for a little pop of something. Um, I also have like black gel pens. So this black gel pen is a Jelly Roll Sakura black gel pen. I'm just doing the other way, so it's sort of like a, uh, what do you call this pattern? Not Argyle. I don't know, crisscross. There you go. Little black and pink crisscross. crisscross. But, I mean, you don't have to stick with that. You can do anything you want. You can even use, like, your stamped images and write words. Like, on this one, I'm going to write photo bomb. Super cute. So it just gives you a whole bunch of different ideas, hopefully, for how you can make some cork embellishments. I mean, I've got written ones, stamped ones, plain ones, punched ones, you know, like all these fun different ideas. I love how you can come up with all these creative little ways to use your um, cork. So some other ideas is if you wanted to, you could get a um, pin or even a toothpick and stick your cork element on there. So you could have the cork element on a toothpick. That's another fun idea. So there's a whole bunch of ideas. I want to show you one more idea, so I'm going to shut off the camera, and I'll be right back. So I thought it might be fun to try die cutting some of the cork just to see if it would work. So I have this Studio Calico craft die. There's a whole bunch. They're in, like nesting um, tags. So I'm going to try this. So I'm just going to rip a piece of this cork, line it up on the plate, okay, just like that. I'm just going to move it to the side so I don't waste as much cork. Although after all of these embellishments, I've only even used one sheet, so still can make a lot more. Stick it into my cuddle bug, wind it through. And sure enough, a perfect cork tag. That is so cute. Actually, I think I like these more than the punched images. So use whatever dies you have. Like I have all these different sizes of cork tags. So maybe I'll do a couple more in a different size. Use like Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back. So using my cup cuddle bag I was able to punch out all these fun shapes like these tags from Studio Calico this amazing scripty lovely word that came from a Heidi Swap die cut the word friend now the lovely and the friend are super fragile but they work perfectly and I think I'd just be careful with them and stick them on a project and they look so pretty and then I also cut out a couple banners using this craft die from Studio Calico. So I don't have a ton of dies, so that's why I didn't do a whole bunch of them. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for how easy it works and how awesome it does. And really, like, it's so easy to cut through. Like, it wasn't stressful, it wasn't hard or, like, cranking it through. It works so well. So, guys, you have to try this. I'm so excited with how that works. So far we've punched shapes, we've die cut shapes, we've stamped and fussy cut shapes. 
Um, there are so many fun ways that you can use this cork. And if you wanted a specific shape, but you didn't necessarily feel confident like cutting that shape out. So like, for example, this arrow, what you could do is using the cork, you could lay the shape on, and I'm just using a wood veneer to like help me see where to cut. Then I'm just gonna use a pen and outline the wood veneer. And this is a Sharpie um, fine tip pen if you're wondering. Okay, just like that. And then I've got the shape so I know exactly where to cut. So even if you don't have punches, you don't have a die cut, you don't have stamps, you could totally do this step. Just trace something, anything. It could be a cup, a plate, a toy, a wood veneer, anything that you want. Trace it and then just quickly fussy cut it out. And the nice thing is that this arrow is super easy to fussy cut because it's all straight lines. But again, I don't really mind fussy cutting, but if you did you use a die cut or something, and there you go. Cork arrow, perfect shape, and I didn't have to do it by myself. I mean, arrows aren't that difficult, but you could use any shape. Like, I have these cork numbers, or these wood veneer numbers. If you wanted to cork number that shape, you could use that. Um, or letters, like sometimes you can get cork or chipboard letters, and you could use those as your guide to cutting things out. Just super fun. Now another tip I wanted to give you is that you can actually color on this cork. So I've already shown you how to color on it with markers and pens, but you can also use some of the other things you have in your stash to color on it. So for example, I have this Mr. Huey's Ink Dabber. I'm just going to grab one of these pieces, so like this button that I made. And I'm going to just use the ink dabber to add some color. Now, obviously, it's going to get a little muddy because it's brown under there. So it's not going to be as vibrant as you would expect it to be. But just to give you a little color, it does suck it up, so you do need to do like a couple coats. But look at that. So you've got some a bright color. You could all, if you don't have ink dabbers, you could always use your um, misters. So for, not misters, like uh, mini misters or spray mists or whatever. So for example, I've got this lemon. So I want to add some color. Just, Just grabbing the nozzle of the different um, mini misters and using it to like paint in the section. So. I've used some red, I've used some orange, and then I'm going to use some green. Um, they did bleed together a little bit, but I didn't really mind. But if you didn't want them to bleed together, I would just let it dry. It's really messy, but I'm just going to go with it. Then I'm going to use a little paper towel to wipe it up. And there I've got this really cute colored cork stamped embellishment. And really, it didn't cost me that much money. I think I paid maybe four dollars for this two sheets of cork and I've got all of these embellishments and I still have a whole other sheet so I could just keep on making embellishments however long I want um, whatever I feel like I wanted to do I could definitely do that because they're super honestly guys I can't tell you like this I don't think it could get any easier than this. I honestly don't. They're super fun and you can do whatever you like. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun and maybe learned something new and um, I hope that you give this cork embellishments a try because they're super fun and easy. I love punching them out and coloring them, stamping, using inks and my die cut machine and I've got all these different fun pieces that I can now use in my project life, on my planner, on my scrapbook pages, 
on cards. And I think it just adds that one little extra tip. So thank you everyone for joining me. I'm really thankful you're here. I hope I've inspired you to try something new. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.